Hi friends, Miss McDonald here. I have a book I want to share with you. This is called Layla's Lunchbox, a Ramadan story. Layla's Lunchbox, a Ramadan story. It was written by Reem Farouk and illustrations by Leah Leon. If you're not sure what Ramadan is, this story will help you understand it a little bit. We won't be needing this for a while, said Layla's mother, hanging up Layla's lunchbox. Imagine, I won't be eating lunch for a month, replied Layla with a twirl. I won't have to pack lunch for a month said her mom with a bigger twirl. The year before, Layla had wanted to fast with her best friends, Hend and Ishrat, during Ramadan, but Layla's mom had insisted she was too small. Remembering that, Layla stopped twirling. She missed her friends. Moving from one continent to another had been hard. On the map in her atlas, North America and the Middle East were 10 inches apart, but in real life, she was so much farther away. She wished she was only 10 inches away from Hend and Ishrat. She knew the sign by the highway said, Peach Tree City, you'll love to call it home. But she didn't agree with the sign. Abu Dhabi still felt like her home. The next morning, before sunrise, Layla's mom gently nudged her. Layla, she whispered. Sari time. Layla chomped on her chocolate chip pancakes with her eyes closed. Delicious, she said. Come, let's pray now, said her mom. After Sari, Layla snuggled back into her bed until her mom woke her up again, this time for school. As she left the house, her mom handed her a note. Layla, please give this note to Mrs. Pensworth. Without her lunchbox to carry, her fingers felt extra free and swingy. She felt so light, she skipped to the school bus stop. On the school bus, she read her mom's note. Dear Mrs. Pensworth, this will be Layla's first time fasting for the month of Ramadan. She is, so it is an exciting time for us. Please excuse Layla from lunch for this special month. Thanks, Mrs. Malik. Layla didn't feel so bouncy anymore. What if Mrs. Pensworth didn't know about Ramadan? No one else would be fasting with her. She folded the note into a teeny tiny square and hid it in her book bag. Layla walked slowly to her class. Her throat felt dry all morning. When lunchtime arrived, she still hadn't given Mrs. Pensworth her note. Layla, did you forget your lunch? Asked Mrs. Pensworth. Layla opened her mouth to speak, but no words came out. Samantha volunteered. I'll share my lunch with Layla. Mrs. Pensworth shook her head. Thank you for the offer, Samantha. But Layla, please get a sandwich from the cafeteria. Layla followed her classmates to the cafeteria. Layla, do you want some of my cream roll? Asked Anna. Layla thought of telling Anna that she was fasting, but she didn't think anyone in Sunnyvale Elementary School knew about Ramadan. No, thanks, she started to say. I didn't bring my... Are you sure? asked Anna, unwrapping the cream rolls. Layla watched the cream roll get smaller and smaller, and she didn't feel so sure. Cream rolls were her favorite. She looked away. Her nose still smelt food. Layla wished she had given Mrs. Pensworth the note. Even Isaiah's bologna sandwich looked tasty and Layla didn't even like bologna. Her stomach rumbled. Suddenly she had an idea. While everyone was busy eating, she sneaked out of the cafeteria. Her stomach stopped growling. 
Why, Layla, it's a pleasure to see you. But what brings you here at lunchtime? Asked Mrs. Carmen, the librarian. Layla felt safe among all the books. She opened her mouth and this time her words tumbled out. Layla told Mrs. Carmen that Mrs. Pensworth and her classmates didn't know she was fasting. She told her how she missed Hen and Ishrat. It felt good to tell someone all the words that had been inside her mind all morning, and especially to tell her about Ramadan. Mrs. Carmen understood. You must feel so special to fast this Ramadan, said the librarian with a smile. I do, said Layla, but why is it so hard to explain? You know what I always do when I can't get my thoughts out or when I get shy about talking, said Mrs. Carmen. I write my thoughts down. Layla got to work. She wrote neatly, adding extra loops to her capital L. She worked so hard her cheeks turned pink. Dear Mrs. Pensworth, I didn't forget my lunchbox today. It's Ramadan. My mom finally let me fast. This mo means I won't be eating lunch for a month. Sincerely, Layla. P.S. I'm Muslim. P.P.S. My mom wrote you a note too. Here it is. P.P.P.S. Here's a poem I wrote about Ramadan. Ramadan is a month Muslims celebrate, a time to count our blessings and appreciate. Muslims fast before sunrise to sunset. But wait, that's not all just yet. Ramadan is a time for lots of prayer. We help the poor people to show we care. So in the day, I won't be eating any food but hopefully we'll stay in a good mood. Layla hurried back to the cafeteria to join her class. Before school was out, she quietly dropped both notes onto Mrs. Pensworth's desk. The next morning, Layla swung her fingers as she waited for the school bus. Would Mrs. Pensworth like her poem? Layla hoped Mrs. Pensworth would, wouldn't think she had forgotten her lunchbox again. She slowly climbed each step on the school bus. In class, Mrs. Pensworth didn't say anything, so Layla wondered what had happened. At times like this, she wished Hend and Ishrat were there with her. They would know what to say. At lunchtime, Layla's feet felt heavy. She was sure Mrs. Pensworth hadn't seen the notes. Everyone would think she had forgotten her lunchbox again. As she was leaving class, Mrs. Pensworth patted Layla on the back and handed her a message. Mrs. Pensworth had made her capital L in Layla's name extra loopy. Dear Layla, I enjoyed your lovely poem about Ramadan. I'm impressed you're fasting. What a special time for you. You and your family must be thrilled. Would you share your poem with the class today after lunch? You could go to the library this month instead of the cafeteria. Mrs. Carmen is excited to see you. Sincerely, Mrs. Pensworth. P.S. Mrs. Carmen told me you missed your friends. I hope you keep making friends with our class. Layla twirled all the way to the library. She couldn't wait to share her Ramadan poem with her class. Later in Iftar, she would celebrate this day. And this is a note from the author. And it says, As a child, I remember growing up in Abu Dhabi, wishing I could fast with my best friends, Hend and Ishrat. But my mother told me I was too small to fast. When I was finally allowed to fast, I missed their company. Like Layla, my family moved to Peachtree City, Georgia all the way from Abu Dhabi, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. During Ramadan, I found it challenging to explain to my non-Muslim friends why I was not eating lunch with them. The library became my safe place away from all the fragrant food smells, and I spent many hours there enjoying good books. I hope we all have the courage, like Layla, to explain and celebrate our beliefs. Contrary to what some may think, 
Ramadan is not all about food. It is about growing up and finally being able to fast. It is about cherishing the family with whom you sit down every evening at sunset to open your fast. It is about praying with the community and sharing with those in need. It is about inviting friends over for iftar and sending food to your neighbors. Layla's poem is adapted from a note we used to stick on food my mother would send to our neighbors during Ramadan. It is a special month to celebrate each year. I look forward to it with or without cream rolls. And then it says Ramadan Mubarak, which means have a blessed Ramadan. There's a picture of her eating in the end there. What a nice book. I hope you enjoyed that, friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye!